Good morning, guys. How are you? It is Tuesday, first day back in Canada from our Seattle trip. Um, smooth sailing, no problems, no issues. Uh, had an easy flight. Got home. One of my bags, or sorry, my one, my suitcase was one of the last cases off the carousel, so that stalled us for a little bit. But uh, parking at the terminal parking as opposed to like the value parking uh, there were like a bunch of different grades of, of parking and the extra 20 bucks to park like right there was uh, was good that's the first time I tried that you gotta try things to see if they work for you or not and if it's worth it or not so it was only 10 bucks more from the covered indoor parking lot to the terminal indoor parking lot so 10 bucks anyway so, one of the things we uh, kind of discovered, when I do some of these trips, I think I'm going to stick with that formula where I just shoot, 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 shoot. If I have time to edit, I will start editing. If I don't have time to edit because we're doing so much stuff, like we did this, this uh, particular holiday, uh, then I'm just going to shoot and then edit when I get home. And that's just the, the format in which we'll probably go. So I won't be daily vlogging on, on uh, holidays. It's, um, it takes up time. It takes up a lot of time, sometimes four hours of my holiday every day to edit. So I think I'm going to scrap that part and <laughs> just do it when I get home. Get all this stuff on, off my cards and ready to ed edit, kind of pre-edit. Uh, get all the preliminary things done and out of the way. And then uh, we'll be set to go. So right now, I've just finished day one, which was last Thursday, our travel to, to uh, Seattle. And luckily, I finished the editing now. Right now, it's exporting uh, from Final Cut Pro X to my desktop, the actual video file, the finalized one. Because uh, right now, I don't, I don't know why I did it. But I scheduled an eye appointment. Remember that spot on my eye? I haven't noticed it in the last little while. So and I, I usually notice it mainly when I shut my eye. And you can see this like glowing white fuzzy circle. And I, I compared it to having somebody have a flash go off on a camera. And then that resonating flash bulb effect on your eyeball. So that's why I'm going to go and have it double check now so let's hope that's a double thumbs up on uh, it either moved or it's gone or I don't know I haven't seen it so and it hasn't and if it's there maybe I'm just getting used to it now and uh, which is fine as long as it's not impairing my vision I'll, I'll be happy okay as for the the whole experience this was out of the three football trips I've been on with the boys this is the trip we've done the most things on. Like we did is the stadium tour, we went to the Space Needle, we went to various amazing restaurants, which we do on all the other ones, so that doesn't really count. Uh, we went, we rented a boat. Uh, what else did we do? I'm like, there's so many things. Anyway, so yeah, we were pretty busy doing all the things that we did. Um, we're happy that everything we needed to do was in with a nice tight little area of Seattle. So we just Ubered and everybody just shared uh, the Ubers. So that was a good thing. Um, on the on the airplane ride back, um, I contemplated and reminisced of each of the three holidays. So uh, New Orleans and then Nashville and then uh, Seattle. And I was trying to think which one was better than the next. And I don't think I can. They all have like super amazing special moments um, for me. Uh, one, of the, one of the times that the guys didn't like was in Dallas, which is funny because uh, two of the guys love the Dallas Cowboys. And um, they, that was... They said probably they're, I guess maybe, might maybe not like a, the worst trip, but the one they didn't do anything on except go to bars and drink. And there's only so much of that you can do. So the fact that we did a lot of stuff on this one 
beats that one and the Nashville and the New Orleans beats that one. I didn't go to that one. I guess luckily enough I didn't go to that one because it sounded like it was a bit of a drag. So so I'm really happy that I went on this trip. Very excited. Disappointed Paul couldn't be there. Um, at the same time, it was good that nobody else did come because the lady said that the houseboat slept six people. It, it doesn't sleep six people. It sleeps three couples, which is six people. But typically, our guy friends don't like to share beds with each other. So it basically slept three and a half because Jim and I got the upstairs one and we totally kept telling the guys, guys, it's your turn to have those beds and we'll sleep on the couch and the floor. They're both blow up mattress. That's funny, that's the first time I've ever seen a blow up mattress pull out bed. So you had to pull the bed out and then pump it up. And uh, so they both slept on the air mattresses and Andy and uh, Chris said they, they're comfortable where they are so they don't want to keep switching. And, so thanks guys for that. Um, yeah, next time if we if we're in a situation like that, I'll I'll take the floor because it's just, it's only considerate to to do that around with everybody. All right, I'm gonna go on to saying that this uh, thing's. Hey guys, it's now uh, Thursday afternoon. It's like quarter to one. I'm going to Brantford to visit Ben. And I thought, he didn't want me there. He gets off class at like 3.30, so he wants me to meet up, meet him at his place by four. So I figured on one of the first videos I made about dropping Ben off, uh, somebody mentioned in the comment saying, you gotta go to Lonnie's, which is like a burger joint plus do specialty proteins. It's a lot of the college students go there especially uh, on a Friday night after the bar hopping and stuff. So I, th I figured I'd do a, a food review and uh, get that done out of the way because I need a, a, a food review for a Friday. And this is a perfect opportunity because I want to visit Ben. I'm dropping off a TV because uh, I don't have a TV there. And uh, we'll stall that, get that all up and running for him. And uh, yeah, just visit, probably have dinner. I'm not sure what we're going to do for dinner. I guess I can't eat too much from my food review. Uh, and the last uh, piece of this vlog, which was shot on Tuesday, and then I, my camera ran out of batteries right near the end. Um, yeah, so I went and got my eye appointment done. The uh, doctor checked my eyes out. The actual like hazy thing that I've been seeing is kind of dissipated. I haven't really noticed it a lot. And so he just said my eyes are really healthy and uh, everything looks good. No sign of retina detachment or whatever. And so that's a good thing. Good things are happening right now. So, <coughs> excuse me, until I choked while driving. Uh, yeah, so let's go to Brantford, get a food review done, visit Ben. And uh, I just realized I didn't bring a drill. Dang. And Ben's birthday is coming up October 2nd. So Carol gave me a bunch of presents for him, and uh, apparently he's not supposed to open them until his birthday, but uh, I bet he'll open them as soon as he sees them. Made it to Brantford, and uh, look at that building. Bank of Montreal, pretty building. But uh, the building we're after, it's right there. Lonnie's, burger, subs, wings, Mexican, breakfast, lunch, dinner, open late. Lonnie's on Market. So I guess this must be Market Street or something. All right, so I'm gonna go in there and see uh, what kind of food we're gonna get. And we either eat it out here or do it in there. We'll see. <laughs> We are all done. I can only eat half of that. It would have been probably wouldn't have really probably would have been a really bad idea if I ate any more than that.
It is 3.30, that means Ben's out of class. So probably he's making his way back to the house. So let's get over there and see what kind of mount. Um, I'm not sure if you've seen the poutine video or you've seen this video yet uh, first, but in that video, I talked about the fact that there's a store there called Brandt Stereo. And uh, it just so happens to be located right beside Lonnie's. And I went in there just to see what his prices were for wall mounts so we can put this TV up on the wall. And it ranges from 29 bucks for a flush mount uh, wall mount, or you can get like a really nice articulating one that looks really nice if you're looking at it from the side. And uh, it's like $299. And then they have one that uh, doesn't look nice from the side, but he says what you can do is you can mount it really close to the corner of a room and then make it come out and it'll actually sit on a nice angle in the corner. And I'm thinking that's possibly what we might do. We just had to figure out how to get the cable over there. All right, let's go to Ben's house. Hey guys, look who I found. Hello. <laughs> just finished having uh, pizza at Boston Pizza. Uh, got to your house, set up the TV. Uh, we got the TV out of the box and stuff, made sure we knew what we're dealing with. And then we drove over to the um, stereo store and bought a wall mount and we, yeah. we just went with a pivot one as opposed to an articulating Yeah, it's cheaper one. and it works for the couches. So. How much fun was it uh, mounting that to the wall? It was no fun. It was very difficult. It was, we, we were, we thought we found studs and then we started to put the, the lug or the, Bolt. the bolts in and then you realize that you're not going into wood so you got to pull out yeah. and we got a big hole in the wall and then so I, then I got the small nail and I was trying to show Ben where if you think you know where the stud is, then you use the small nail and you put a couple holes in every inch. Check the resistance on yeah. the nail. Yeah, and once you feel that you're in... Whether in, you're in solid wood or you've now hit past drywall. So yeah, you, if you hit, keep hitting drywall and something's wrong. But it just seemed like their 16-inch centers weren't in 16-inch centers. And so it kind of messed us up a bit. And, I, and so once we finally got one of them in, and the other problem was we didn't have a ratchet set. We had to use an adjustable wrench, which to, sucks. What, and it wasn't just an, an adjustable wrench. It was a crappy adjustable wrench because you would adjust it, put it on, and start to turn it, take it off, go to put it back on, and it was now smaller or, or bigger. Or bigger, yeah. And so you had to, like, adjust it every single time. And, uh, and then we also had, had a difficult time trying to get, get it to it grab into the, into yeah, the wood. Into the so technically, and I was going to bring my drill, but I forgot. There were so many things I had to bring. But you would drill in and then it would have gone in easy. And if, if, you had a, if we had a drill, yeah, if we had a drill, a drill bits and a ratchet set, it would have been in better and, never been bad at and, all. and something to find studs a bit quicker, so, and. Uh, Is there anything to find studs quicker with? Yeah, it's just basically a magnet, and but it's really sensitive and it's on a swivel. So as you move it around, it'll find a nail that somebody, or a drywall screw. And I, when it finds it, it, the thing stands up and shows you where it is, then you can mark it. Mm -hmm. And then it's basically saying that's where the stud is. That's where the stud is. Interesting. Yeah. And then you can measure 16 in inches out that way, either way. So, but the bracket was about 90 bucks, or sorry, it was $100 even. And, uh... No tax. No tax. Students. Yeah. So Our student. Brant Stereo. That's the place to go. Yeah. Really anyway. To where I was. So Ben's going to be 19 in four days. Four days? Wish Ben happy birthday. Yeah, a few days. Yeah. October 2nd. <laughs> you have to look at this. I know it's October 2nd. I, just, I thought it was... He hasn't got a notification yet when it's his birthday. 30th, 31st. Sorry, no. First and then second. Yeah, so five days. Five days. Five days. On the fifth day. On the fifth day, Ben I'll was born. I'll be 19, yeah. All right. That'll be fun. So Alcohol? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. So it was nice seeing you again. It was nice to see you as well. And uh, I'm going to end the vlog right there. Bye. Bye.